My name is Chris Chung and the restaurant is uh, East Wind Snack Shop and we're located in Windsor Terrace, Brooklyn. And um, I took inspirations from the little tea houses and coffee shops that I grew up in in New York's Chinatown on Mott Street. Uh, little coffee shops um, are no more. And that's I took that inspiration and opened up East Wind Snack Shop. I am not a vegetarian. But, you know, vegetables, uh, especially in Chinese cuisine, uh, have a very important place. When you, you know, go to eat dinner um, in a Chinese restaurant or in a Chinese home, there's always vegetables, um, you know, that are uh, put on the table. Uh, in China, you know, a lot of the dishes revolve around the vegetables. I'll uh, call it the Happy Buddha. In the dish, lots of different uh, Chinese vegetables. Uh, I use two types of mushrooms. We try to make it interesting and I try to incorporate some flavors that um, you wouldn't normally uh, get from your corner Chinese restaurant. I'm using fermented tofu. It's, uh, you know, it's aged like, like cheese, but it, and it has a strong, funky flavor, but not too overpowering. Shaoxing cooking wine. And then I'm just going to cover it. Now, you'd say that a sauteed vegetable dish sounds pretty simple. Uh, and it is, and it should be. It should be straightforward and simple and just make you feel good and taste good. Um, but there's, I've incorporated a lot of layers of flavors in this dish. The, uh, you know, the saltiness balance comes from a soy mix, uh, which uh, seasons the dish. Obviously, uh, you know, vegetables are good for you, to, good to eat, but they're also uh, something that's usually plentiful if you're, you're in China. You know, that's the, that's pretty much the go-to thing to eat because uh, it's kind of a financial thing. It meets expensive meat. As far as flavors and uh, emulating what a Chinese classic meal would be, uh, vegetables definitely have to have their place on the table. You know, when uh, I was coming up along in fine dining uh, with vegetables and vegetarians, it, back in those days, it was slightly more adversarial than it is now. Um, French cuisine in New York City always had a uh, stronghold and have always had deep roots. And in French cuisine, um, you know, meat, is a uh, very big part of uh, what they do. You know, we weren't coming together and, you know, with knives and guns or, you know, like that, but um, it was sort of, uh, oh, what are we gonna do if, you know, uh, the vegetarian needs a, a, you know, a special dish. Chefs now are embracing uh, what, you know, what they can do with vegetables and, and, and it's opened a big door to lots of ideas and lots of creativity. And, um, and, and so we, you know, it's something that we want to grab at. It's exciting for us to work with these things. You have, you know, $150 vegetable tasting menus now. And, uh, you know, uh, you know, and it almost seems like it, the, it, the, it's turned where things are revolving more upon what you can do with the vegetables more than what you can do with meat and sauces. And then you want some aromatics like uh, uh, fried shallots and fried garlic and sesame seeds. I actually make a puree of uh, ginger and scallions and cilantro, and then it's uh, topped with a layer of uh, fresh bean sprouts. And there's your happy Buddha.